Oh, hello, 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 all my machine heads. And uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to the bank loan challenge of Maypole Farms. I've got some good news and I got some bad news and some more bad news. Oh, boo! Well, Fury found a couple more issues with the map. So I've decided to change what I was doing. First of all, a, sh a huge, 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 as I adjust my microphone, shout out to all of you awesome, fantastic, wonderful family members who gave me help with the, the cedar. Uh, I found out that when you're using the 180, 190, you have to hit the Z button. Here I am smashing the end button, smashing the end button. Nope, didn't work. So I had to make some changes because let me explain to you what's going on. Now, Cavalier Roy, the maker of this map, fully aware of knowing this. That's why there's an update coming. So that's why Fury decides to change. First and foremost, the cows do not make any manure on this version. No matter what straw you put in there, they just don't. Okay. Also... When you sell the cow pen, you cannot sell the manure pits at all. They're stuck on the map. But remember, remember, he's got an update coming, and that's what's awesome, and that's what's great. So what Fury decided to do is on this map, uh, I am going to do sheep and sheep alone. Remember how I was doing a sheep army on Riverview? Well, I'm going to do my cow army on Riverview because the main farm on Riverview is going to hold... 2,000 cows. That's the main farm. So I'm going to do my dairy farm on that. This map, we are only going to do sheep and sheep alone. That's it. So that way we can concentrate more on just one animal. And that way I don't have to worry about updating the map or doing anything. I can play just on this version. Also, one last thing. Uh, Fury has learned his lesson three times now. <laughs> and I have another huge shout out to Ranger because Ranger called me out on it and I didn't believe him and I didn't believe him, didn't believe him. And he's right. Not once, not twice, but three times Fury has tried to play 28 day months. And no matter what speed clock you have, it's just too much. So, Ranger, my old friend from uh, my brother from a different mother, shall we say, as we always say to each other off camera. Um, you're right. You're 100% right. So we're still doing the bank loan challenge, but what we're going to do is we're going to do one day months, and Fury's going to try to get the same things that we had on the other Let's Play with the uh, greenhouses here, um, I sold the fertilizer spreader and I put my own down. I put a couple of new sheds down. And what I did over here, uh, the only changes I made to the map, I sold the ho horse farm and Ranger got me these cool fenceless sheep borders for, for that we're using on Hobo Farms. And they are cool because in the dark, these things, these lights light up red. They're wicked cool. But if you come over here, look, they're all wide open. So, the cool news is we've got, and I put it where the house, horse pen was. So, they got a nice little hill so they can play around. They got all this grass to eat. Works out pretty well. Um, and that way, instead of, the episodes are still going to be right around an hour. But that way, the, uh, if I do 14, or if I do 10 episodes, it gets me through one day. Rather than 28 episodes to get me through one month. So, I can get, do 10 episodes to get me through a month. So it's about a lot better. And that way I don't have to worry about updating the map. And if I do update it, it won't affect me because the changes he's making are in the cow farms. So these are from the in-game mod hub. These are the fenceless board boundaries. They each hold 195. So what we've got is 100 here and 100 here. And we've got 200 here. So we've got 500 sheep on this farm right away. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start mowing some grass and making size bales. I also added the nets. Um, we have decided on, I went through and I messaged each and every one of the guys that are regulars. Um, where's my thing? Then we got some harvesting to do. I also decided to go with this mod. The Torpedo RX-170. It's a slick mod. 
really is from the in-game mod hub. Gonna head down. We're gonna buy ourselves a bailer and some netting. Um, actually, yes. We'll do that. Bring that back to the farm because we got another. Uh, I'm gonna do things a lot differently. Let me. Um, it's a little loud. Let me just turn it down a little bit. I know Russell likes him up a little bit. Uh, the volume on the tractors. Um, and I got it at a hundred. So let me turn it down to like 70. There. That way I can, you guys can still hear it, but I don't feel like I'm shouting. This is still the power shift, uh, transmission, but it seems like it's better. But thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who, um, there. Oops, I don't want to hit my header trailer. We're gonna, we got two fields of wheat to go. The difference is we're still going to do the loan challenge. We're still going to do the same rules, except for now I don't need straw. So I can sell the straw bales. I can do the things I need. I can sell the wheat. We're not going to have chickens. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to do sheep. So it'll be more up or less a farming, um, a farming let's play on this one. And then when Riverview drops, it's in the in-game mod hub now. When Riverview drops, it will be 100% dairy farm and dairy farm only. And we'll do things. But I'm going to do things way, way, way smaller. Um, in other words, we're only using a side mower because I picked a tractor that doesn't have a front mount. So it's a, it's got a mount already weighted on it. Which I did notice that the wheels only spin at about 20. When we get to 26, they stop spinning. But how often are you looking at the front wheels? See, they spin once they get down below a certain thing. So... I also noticed that, uh, oh, so what I was saying before I get off topic, um, we're going to play 1x speed, one day months. That's it. When we get through it, we get through it, we're through a month, and we're going to, uh, that way I don't have to play off camera as much. That was getting to be quite the pain. As much as I was enjoying it, uh, don't get me wrong. Um, now, Rangers said to go to the balers and go all the way over to get the baler I want with the net add-on. Awesome. Uh, so I don't want wrap add on, wrap add on. Okay, is that yeah? Because I want to go 180 size bales. I'm just gonna go flat out. Um, yeah, 125. Let's go 180. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, we'll keep everything standard. Okay, and then I got to buy some netting. So where do I buy the netting from? Uh, is it in here? No, it would be under pallets, wouldn't it? There it is, pallets, net wrap. Uh, how much? Does it matter what you buy? Does it matter? Does it matter? So what kind of baler is this? So to keep realism, we'll keep the coon, and we will buy pallets of coon net wrap, right? And how much does it hold? 12 pieces. Oh, nice. You can buy 12, you can buy six, 12, and different ones. So that's 2,800 meters. Let's see how far one gets us uh, to bail with. we got to get our sheep food. I bought them at the last little bit and then we can harvest oh there's a bunch here oh also I want to buy this I want to show you guys another thing I found check this out where is it is it under nope it's under front loaders I think nope oh forklifts there she is. This Teletruck is the bomb. Is absolutely the bomb. This thing is great. We're going to buy us a uh, forklift. Look at this thing. Watch how nice and easy this picks up pallets and bales. And I was picking up like three round bales with this thing. And it was absolutely no issues. And it's got a telescoping boom in it. So, <laughs> it's just really cool. It's 
move this out of the way because what we're going to do is we're going to load this up on a trailer next time. Whoops. All right, just when I say, right? All right, what am I hitting on here? <laughs> All right. Just when I say it, right? <laughs> Leave it up to Fury, right? All right? Let's get it out of the way so I don't feel like I'm in the way here. There, now let's see if we can go at it at a different angle. Okay, up a little bit. Nope. Well, I guess you could pick it up like that, I guess. I'll figure it out, but I do know it works really well for bales. All right, one more try, and then I gotta get I gotta get working. Wow. Hmm. Wow. All right, does that not work with this? All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to... We'll, we'll figure it out. I want to make sure that I can't adjust those forks, can I? Okay. Well, anyways, let's get over to the farm. We'll figure that out. This tractor in the interior is nice. There's your turn signals. There's my... I already got my harvester. I'm going to try... To keep the same, um, I also want to change this to uh, 180. There we go. We're going to use the auto picker upper. This way, I'm not going to be so stupid and get the money back so quick until we get everything we need. Once we get everything we need and we got everything we need, then we're going to definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, do things the right way. But this just makes me feel like it's a little slower let's play. Uh, what I'm going to do also on this let's play is instead of jumping around and going mowing a whole bunch of fields and mowing all the stuff, we're going to mow one field. We're going to make sure it's all taken care of before it's done. Make sure our animals are fed from that stuff and then we're going to move on to the next field. That way I can just concentrate on what I need to do. Also, the bad news that I had uh, was the course play had a major, major... I tried to download a uh, the Amazon Sprayer update. Uh, remember, I had a... I, oh, I forgot that was there. All right. <laughs> I'll come back and fix that in a minute. I totally forgot that was sitting in the middle of the road. Um, I downloaded the... Uh, Amazon Sprayer had an update to it, the 15 meter. Um, and as soon as I did, it had a conflict with course play. And it went haywire. It corrupted my file. Now, I was able to go in and get the saved file and get it fixed. But I thought, okay. Then I went to, I was like, all right, I'm going to try a little experiment. And I tried to, remember on Greenlands when I had that manure pit that I could put inside stuff? Well, I thought, well, I'll go ahead and put that in the middle of the manure pit and see if it creates manure. All it did was cause an issue. I also took this one shed out that was right here. So we had a little more room for our pallets to spawn. We are also going to be adding the um... Precision farming and the uh, 
right, let me take care of this one tree here. Now you guys can see how I get rid of trees. And I shut it back off, and boom. That way I get rid of the trees. Uh, we're going to add precision farming and the net wrap on, the net add on. Because in real life, I'm glad that somebody decided to do that. In real life, there's netting um, that you put into the, uh, it's called twine and netting. Um, and you put it into the baler and it wraps it, it wraps a giant net around it. All right, so did you see how, now, this is the, this mower that I'm using. Let me show you real quick. I'm recording this really, really late, by the way. It is one o'clock in the morning. Uh, for me on Wednesday night. I was watching the Golden State game. This is the pack, uh, Pottinger uh, Nova Disc. And each one of these, even though they're side mowers, they come with swathers on them. So they're perfect for doing small farms. I'll show you. It makes, when you turn it on, it makes a nice swath itself see now do you hear that this mod comes with the rpms that adjust um i think i gotta go this way a little bit more see how the tractor winds a lot more so let's just go around the corner here like this I thought I was going to have enough room but now this is nice because I don't have to re-swath it see there we go now I can just literally come through and bail it. I mean, I could windrow it and stuff if I wanted, but. They've also been designed to mow around corners so you don't miss them. What misses actually, guys and gals, is the front mower. That actually is what misses it. My eyebrow itched. I had to stop there for a second and itch my eyebrow. We still got all our equipment to buy and see how it made a see how it stops when it's not mowing. more sharper there we go see I got thinking about it and I had made so many mistakes on the last let's play that I was like nah you know I kept trying to change everything this way we're gonna do things a lot more smaller and a lot more um, to the realistic point of view it's only a 170 horsepower tractor but watch now see now I can go right around a corner and then now that I've mowed my when I mow my second headland here I'll flip because you don't want to drive too much over your whoa, whoa. Yeah, don't want to drive actually what I would normally do would be mow the first headland like that and then you got to drive over the part you already mowed I'll show you. We get up here. Normally, would only do one headland with this thing. It's only 3.5 meters wide, but it'll save me from wind rowing because we are literally only going to use grass. That's it. We're going to make grass bales. Now, on once we get enough feed, hear that? I love that. The RPMs shut down. This tractor is so, 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 so weak. And 
Now we got enough room. And now we can go this way, and you want to drive with the off on the cut grass. You would normally do that after one headland. That sound is your uh, PTO and your RPMs kicking up on your tractor. But what I like about this is not only does it windrow it for you, you can go right around a corner and not miss anything. Now, if you were doing this in cab, let me show you. You line right up on your windrow. Right in the center. So then what we'll do is once we cut this and we bail it, that's why I couldn't use the Viacon baler because it would have made silage bales. So if we decide to do silage bales, which we will for money, uh, we can uh, just wrap them with a wrapper. We'll buy a wrapper. But yeah, I didn't want to play the game, but you know what? Ranger is 100% right, and as much as I didn't, I tried, I tried to admit it, he's right. Uh, 28 day months, the game's just not set up for that. It's really not. It's set up for you to go through your months a lot quicker. And so I think one, three, or even six day months would be perfect. But once you get over six days, it, uh, it doesn't work right. So we're going to do this a little bit more realistically. Maybe not necessarily realistic speeds. But we are going to do this realistically as far as uh, I'm not going to hire any workers. I'm not going to use course play. I'm not going to do it that way. So I'm excited about that. Getting back to basics. See, and they're already in nice little windrows and be done with it. I don't know what it is about the script mods these days, but they're all interacting with each other anymore. Now, once again, you normally wouldn't, you would mow this before the animals came in here, but. I also bought the whole, the same kind of uh, animals. All the sheep are the same. I just got thinking about it real hard today. We were having our supper and I got thinking about it and I thought, well, Truth be known, if I just did sheep on this, because there's no issues with sheep at all. It's it, The issues that he's fixing are with the cow pens. So, as much as I love doing dairy, I figured, well, I can keep playing this map. I don't even have to worry about updating it. And if I do update it, it shouldn't affect my save game because the things he's fixing don't have anything to do with the sheep. Now, I may retract that. We might hire a worker down the line if we've got the money. So let's actually, let's see, when we get over there, let's see if it'll let us hire a worker on a, on the sheep pen. Because technically it's a field. And then I'll go buy, I'm going to keep this same style of tractor, I'm just going to change the color. I really like this tractor. It's 170 horsepower and it'll work for everything that we need to do. All right, so let me get here and see if it'll let me hire him. Nope. Okay. Because it's not a legitimate field. That's okay. We'll just keep mowing it for a while. But it's these little sounds that make it seem more real. 
RPMs revving up. Alright, so we can utilize that if we want. Uh, this tractor wouldn't have GPS, but it would have the Starfire in it. back and do that little bit of strip there. I'm going over my poor sheepies. Just a nice looking mod, nice looking tractor. It's power shift, but the the 18190, as much as I like that tractor, whoops, it is not the one I wanted. There we go. Uh, the 18190 tends to not, it misses gears on hills. Um, beautiful mod though, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mod. But I want to pick on the guys because I'm still technically on this map, everyone. <laughs> Now, I'm going to take a guess. Uh, last time we got um, 15 bales off this, but it was also 125 centimeter bales. So I'm guessing about 12 at 180. The sheep, I will say one thing too. The, the sheep are a lot more active than cows. These things move around quite a bit. And then we can mow the cow pastures and things now um, because I'm not going to sell the cow pastures because the manure manure you can't sell them so I'm just going to leave the, the rest of the farm the, the only thing I sold was the horse pen and some uh, oh I also got to get my water going or my things going too It's not taking that long, less than a half an hour so far already to mow this. This is a really, really, really nice mod. But once again, it's 3.5 meters. We talk about this all the time. At least Fury does anyways. It's 3.5 meters, but that's, uh, let's see, 9 feet, 10 feet. Well, a six, a 6 meter is 9.1 meter, a 9.1 feet. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, too, because I figured out when I was doing course play the other day, I figured out that it's in feet. So six meters is like 18.1 or 18.2 feet or something like that. Or 19, almost 19 feet. So this 3.5 meter, if you guys have ever seen a, a sip mower, that's what they call these in real life, uh, the sip mower stands for the, uh, the swather. Swather in place mower, that's what it stands for. Um, because it has a swather to it automatically. Um, otherwise, it will, if you pick the regular mower without the, the swather in place, and let me show you really quick what I mean. Um, it comes with, if you bought this, the swather plate. It comes with a plate on the back that causes a swath. Okay, and they're real, and they're super duper real. We had one in real life. So, if you don't, it just mows the grass and sits it right on the ground. It's a mower conditioner type. Um, also, these come with swather plates, and they also come with what I was just referring to as a conditioner, which is basically it starts to pre-dry the hay. So... Now this probably mid 90s tractor may have had GPS on it, but we're gonna play it off that we put the Starfire on it. Start doing this now.
<laughs> Just so I can um, not turn as much. You want to try to eliminate your turns as best you can. There we go. Now. And yes, contrary to belief, you could leave your mower on. It wouldn't hurt anything. See, there's a half an hour, and I talked for about seven minutes to begin with. So, literally, not very long to mow this little sheep pen. But, if we get enough uh, food off of it to feed these animals here, oh man. I mean, of course you wouldn't, you wouldn't run over your sheep. <laughs> so how's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing fantastic as usual. Nice looking lines, decent. Just about right here. Who the how did I know? Who that? <laughs> My son lives in why one son lives in Louisiana, so who that? And now that we don't have to need straw for anything. We can sell the straw, sell it outright. Now, can you sell straw, sell? Can you sell straw at the BGA? Because I just as soon get straw and make some sort of digestate that I can use on these fields. passes here then we'll go down and we'll bring our teller truck back up i'm not going to get the pallet forks on that what i think i'm going to do i don't know how much a pallet of twine weighs but i think i'm going to get the the you can lift up the pallets Ooh, that was me hang on one second everyone my joystick came unplugged there she goes It just seems like a more real Let's Play. Like a proper Let's Play. I don't know. Um, I like the 28-day months, but man, I'll tell you. Ranger? Man, I, I tell you. What a dude. What a great dude. He's like, uh, let me know how that works out for you uh, with your 28-day uh, months because uh, that's the third time that I've tried it. And it didn't work out because I found myself going, holy crap, I've played 14 days and I'm still got 10 more days before it's over. And I'm like, oh, and I don't feel like I was getting anything done. I felt like I was always rushing because um, at 10x speed, you're not doing things anything realistic you're just trying to don't want the sheepies to get out you're just running around like a madman doing everything like under the sun the only disadvantage to this mower is it's got to be lowered to unhook it which is fine I like the Neverland one better because you can unhook it up in the air 
but this one has the swather. All right, so let's get our baler and start bailing up some grass. Try to get a couple of bales, like three, so that we can get these guys some food before this episode's over. Now, we'll go do our... Uh, let's see. Yes, okay, we can do... We got so many headlands that we can do the headlands kind of first. <laughs> so much like real life. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Constantly running in and out of the tractor. All right, so this is 4,000 instead of 3,500. So, lower. Oh, I got to unfold it first. Lower. Oh, still don't have it lowered. I don't have it lowered. Now this one, I did know, I watched Farmer Klein's review. Uh, the netting only uses if, like constantly if you're using a square baler. This one only uses netting. Um. I'm going to grab that last little bit there. I want to make sure I have my eject bale automatic drop on. Because what it does is when it's full it'll wrap it with netting and then it'll and then it'll eject it so it'll take it takes a little bit more longer oh 7500 bales that's even better that makes me happy Then you get a lot. Even more than the, the big one. That only gets 72. Oh. Perfect. We used 50 feet of wine, twine, twine. I'll try to get three bales done first, and then I'll run down with my Teletruck and get them each a bale. sharp return there. This works out really nice because then I'm not bailing up. Like, I'm going to bail straw and all that stuff up, but I'm going to sell it. And that way we'll be able to just make some money right off the bat. Getting close again for the number two wheel. I'm going to try to
See? I love it. I love it. It's super realistic, too, because that's what it would do. Now, when you're using square balers, from what Farmer Klein's review said, is that it will use it as you're bailing. So you'll go through it faster, but you get more in a roll. Thing is awesome i love i do like this map a absolute ton that's why i keep coming back to it but now i don't have to worry as much about the update now we're done we're done playing we're done getting stuff we're going to get everything we need to do then we're going to get that money out of there once we get uh everything taken care of and we buy all the equipment i don't care if the loan sits there for a couple of days uh until we figure out until we make sure we absolutely have everything we need Seems to be putting his bales up at the same spot, doesn't it? <laughs> now, I know that we'll have to get smaller bales for the bale wrapper if we ever wrap it. Because I don't think that... There's a smaller wind grip. It's because you're getting less less surface area around, if you know what I mean. All right. So now let's go down. Oh, you know what? I want to check something anyways. Uh, bale wrappers. Whoops, wrong one. Bale wrappers. Uh, this one can only do 150, so that's it. So we'll have to go to smaller bales on it. Um, this one does 150. These go to 180. So if we want to do silage bales, we'll do them on the side of the field. That way we can just put them in there, and we'll put them at 180 size bales. All right, so let's go down here. We'll unhook that. Uh, we'll start this. We'll buy uh, skid steer tools. Buy us a bale handler. And let's go. Because we got to go. It just feels like now I'm legitimately playing farm sim. I'm not trying to rush and cheat. And... We'll give each one of these pens these bales, and that'll be just about it. Look at the interior. This thing is nice. This thing is really nice for doing bales. Uh, I discovered this after watching Virtual Farmer's uh, video. He's a big one on this thing, and I thought, oh, it's not very nice. It's the forklift. Then I realized, oh, man, it's got a telescoping thing. How much nicer would that be for loading, like, pallets of lettuce and stuff and things like that so we'll get this field done completely and rolled and everything else that we need to uh so that the field's done and fertilized ready to go to to grow again because the nice thing is instead of waiting three months at 28 day months uh we've only got it's 30 episodes rather than 90 so, I mean, it's like I, I got thinking about it today, and it would have been 28 episodes, 28 hours, uh, times um, three months for our grass to grow back. So, this is only going to be uh, 30 instead of 90. But it automatically goes to, like, the next stage and stuff, so it'll work out, but... 
you know, you learn your lesson. I, I never, ever, ever, ever will do 28 day months again. The other thing that was absolutely, like, horrific about it, and I have to laugh about this, is the 10x speed. When you're used to being, when, you, when you're used to calling yourself a realistic farming channel and you do things a certain way and a certain speed, um, it's hard to go super fast on everything. Okay. So, we gotta go, let's see if we can get this to spin out of the way a little bit. Perfect. Just so I can hook up to it with a tractor. Perfect. All right. Now, the other thing is, I'm really digging the fact that these bales are 7,500 a piece. Um, and now we can just bale them on the side. Like when we do silage bales, we put them in a big tube. We put them right on the um, side of the, the field. Uh, and we'll make silage bales right from there. And then we want to sell them. We'll go sell them 7,500 at a piece. We'll sell them at the BGA. Um, and that way we'll make a whole bunch of money at midnight, which pays for our uh, one bale should just about pay for our daily fee. My tractor's still running. This thing seems so small, but it's actually really powerful. Eh, you're not gonna run out, are you? Probably. <laughs> I've never tried to pick up a 180 bale, but I have picked up three of the other bales. These things are huge. But this is what I used in real life. Oh, yeah. No issues whatsoever. These things, this is, now this is scale. Because this is what they would look like. So that's why I'm excited this way. This bale is about the size of what they are in real life. food and these 180 bales will stack only like too high because they're they're huge now if I wanted to talk for like 10 minutes I probably would have got these done I do know that this is realistic. See how they just... I won't be able to use the small trailer. I'm going to have to get a big, bigger bale trailer. Oh, no! The other thing is, too, will the... Let's check here and check. Will this fit? 180. Perfect. So we can use the auto load, but we're not going to. We're going to try to pick these up by hand as long as they're grass bales and we don't have any rain coming they can sit out in the field till we're ready for them it's when we have rain coming that I want to get them off see it's not like I'm coming far with them either Each one of our pens will have 7,500 liters already of grass. Oops. And it literally, we got back here at 48. It only took two minutes to take the bales to the feed. To the feed. And like I said, even if I... I wish there was a way that you could take the bales and put them on the side of the field and cover them. We've done that. This is this is what it would look like. Yep, that's 100%. See the netting on it? Oh, I'll tell you. 
This little Teletruck, I would suggest, this is on the in-game mod hub or the farmingsimulator.com website. I would suggest everybody download this that wants realism. Make yourself 180 size bales and use this thing and it's a super, super realistic feeling. They're great for stacking bales and stuff. Oh boy, got a downhill here. Okay, gotta fix that. Oops. Let's go down the short way. Shall we? Whoops. All right, so let's go back up to our animals and see how much. Look at that. 200 cows, 7510 actually filled them quite a bit look at that one with we'll a hundred and hundred they're only going to need like two bales i gotta level that off a little bit more soften it out look at that it's not going to take much at all so once we get them full and we see we know how many bales it takes um i wanted a little bit of Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. I wanted a little bit of growth. This holds 500 sheep pen in this one. So I wanted a little bit of growth. Um, but this one holds 195. I wanted them to uh, have a little bit of breeding time. There we go. We can go back to bailing for the next eight minutes. They each got food now. crazy 7500 bales is absolutely insane size bales that's really super realistic We'll have to remember how many bales we got off this field just this one little tiny field may be enough to feed all of our sheep so then we can turn around and start making silage bales and selling them to make some serious money run over my sheepies Man, I'll tell you, this, this now we're getting to be a good setup here. Ha! See him jump over?
You would think this thing would tip over, but it doesn't. It's actually really nice. See what two bales gave them. Look at that. Right? No, this one. Okay. 15,000, 7,000. Wow, they're almost like the ones are in the orange already. See, just like that, four bales now. Uh, so that's 15,000 liters already, right? No, four bales is, two bales is 15, so that's 30,000 liters of grass just off this field alone already. And we got a lot of bailing left to do in here, which is exciting. Then we'll put the when we do the big field down below, um, we'll do the, uh, we'll put the big tube in there and how many silage bales are we gonna get out of that one? Hopefully before 10 o'clock, I can get one more bale out of here and then put it in the other one and see. These things are so active, it's nice. It's nice to feel like you're on a real farm. One more headland to go, everyone. Then our headlands are done. We can start doing, what is our 50%? Okay, so we'll get done with this, and then we'll roll it. Bring back our 50%. Bring it back to 100% and we'll be able to get the same amount of bales out next time. All right, well that didn't cut as much as I wanted it to. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get another bale, another time, another minute. So let's end this right here. All right, everybody, I hope you guys like the changes because it does feel a lot better to me. And that's uh, what we talked about before, is that as long as it feels a little bit more real for me, uh, and this way I'm not stressing so much about the update. We're always going to do his update. I'll update the map, and it shouldn't affect my sheep at all. Uh, and if it does, then we'll just start doing sheep again. It won't, it won't be too much of an issue. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you for all the help and all the kind words. And on that note, please, please, please look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and most importantly, look out for each other's families. And... Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, 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 and hit the little notification ding, ding bell so you get notified when Fury drops a video. And on that note, please enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. And on that note, I will catch you all. It is now 10 o'clock on the flip side. I'll be back tomorrow, everyone.